We are what is known as the Bermuda Folklore Gombe Dancers. Folklore is a addiction of stories through music and song. It derived through Africa from slavery, right through the Caribbean, onto Bermuda since the early 1900s. The Gombe tradition came from the much older masquerade tradition in West Africa. It wasn't the same thing, but it came from a tradition of celebration and social commentary and spiritual renewal. The Gombe uh, masquerades were sometimes little plays or playlets. The dance was often a dance of defiance by people of African descent against the enslavers. Also, within that Gombe tradition in the Caribbean, this was a way that Africans in the Caribbean honored the heritage and the presence of Native American. The uh, tomahawks and the arrows and the, the finery was designed to make people think about the Native American imagery. The high headdresses recall the fact that originally Gombe's danced on stilts. One of the ideas in West African masking traditions was that once you wore the mask, you would represent something or someone or a spiritual presence larger than yourself. But it was also when the Gombe tradition started, because they were social commentaries, it was a way of disguising themselves to be able to say what they wanted to say. The Bermudian masks are made um, in a particular way. One of the finest chicken wire you can find is cut to shape, to size. The um, um, frame of the mask is made by your ordinary metal hanger. The next stage is, is painting of the mask, which we use oil paints, your basic oil paints. And then it's fitted with the fringe. Drumming was, also, was always a part of uh, masquerade traditions uh, in West Africa and, and in the Caribbean. This drum is actually made of a rum barrel. And metal rims are made to size with the brackets. You have two goat skins, one a nanny skin, one a billy skin, billy goat skin, which gives us a good round, fat sound. And this is one. Is, this is the main instrument of the drum line. Without this bass drum, we really don't have no positive, solid tempo, which really is the driving force behind the music. Next, we have what we call the snare drum. It's used today, but before we used this snare drum, it was the drum we used was called a cattle drum, which was a bit similar, but it didn't have the rim like this, and it was made out of wood. And we ended up evolving into using this drum because we have been influenced by the indoctrination of the military into the island of Bermuda. They used to have many military bases. And upon hearing the sounds of the military drums, the ring from the rim that we used to hear proved us to decide uh, we can get a much better sound and flavor to coincide with the dance steps that you might see. The Gombe tradition has become a national symbol of Bermuda. And, uh, Gombe's come out to greet foreign visitors and at every major celebration, the Gombe tradition is represented. 